In Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, the homunculus is described as a tiny construct created by spellcasters to act as a simple servant or spy. They're shown as creatures of dull brown or gray skin, with wide leathery wings similar to that of a bat. They have an AC of 13 and 5 hit points, and have a walking speed of 20 and a fly speed of 40. They have a negative 3 in strength, a plus 6 in dex, a 0 in constitution, a 0 in intellect, a 0 in wisdom, and a negative 2 in charisma. They're immune to poison damage as well as being poisoned or charmed, and they have dark vision up to 6 feet and a passive perception of 10. In addition, they can understand the languages of their creator, but they cannot speak. They have a telepathic bond allowing them to convey what they sense and communicate telepathically with their master, provided that they're on the same plane of existence. They have one action in combat, a bite with a plus 4 to hit that deals one single measly point of damage. However, the target must also make a DC 10 con save or else be poisoned for one minute. If they fail this throw by 5 or more, they're poisoned for 1d 10 minutes instead, and are knocked unconscious while poisoned. This creature is not meant to be a combat creature at all. With its low AC and hit points, even a level 1 party can wipe out a handful of these creatures like they're nothing, but it could make a very funny encounter. I would have a lower level party in a dungeon or wizard's lair be given a warning about toying with an artifact or other piece of the area. When your party inevitably goes for the thing they aren't supposed to touch, I would have 10 to 20 of these little monsters come flying out at them in a swarm, surrounding every player on all sides. Since all they have is their bite, I'd have them strike from flanking and hope that at least one person fails or horribly on their saving throw, being knocked out as a result. While this might be devastating in normal circumstances, remember that even with advantage and a melee attack being an auto crit on an unconscious creature, the maximum damage someone will take from these creatures is 2 points. While this might be a tedious encounter to run, I think it would make for a funny story for your players to recount. Just imagine, a group of fresh adventurers humbled by a swarm of tiny flying pests. I like to picture that scene from Harry Potter with the Cornish Pixies, but with a lot more swearing and DM laughter. In Latin, the word homunculus translates to little man, and was first solidified in its use in the 1572 alchemic book De Naturo Ridrum by Paracelsus. In this work, he describes the steps needed to create a humanoid infant without the need of fertilization or gestation in the womb, a theory that might have influenced sketches of preformed embryos that went on to be ridiculed by more modern scientists. In mythology and folklore, the homunculus is typically ascribed to a creature made of clay and brought to some form of life, similar to the Hebrew golem, albeit on a much smaller scale. Traditionally, folktales describe them as impish, or as small helpers brought into the world by alchemists and those who study the arcane arts. In more modern works, homunculus is transformed to refer to any artificially created biological creature, with some examples being Frankenstein's monster or the homunculi of Full Metal Alchemist. Most modern homunculi are used as examples of humankind's need for creation and control, as well as to point out the folly of playing god. But early contemporary media also tended to use homunculi as a way to highlight social issues, particularly in portraying refugees, persecuted minorities, and the downtrodden as trying to survive in a world with beings larger and much more powerful than they are. These stories were often meant to illuminate the masses on the insurmountable odds faced by the groups that these homunculi were meant to represent. In comparing the monster to the myth, we find that the D&D homunculus is very similar to the early concepts of alchemical helpers in folklore. Both are artificial forms of life created by an arcane practitioner, and both serve as helpers who are bound to do anything that their master wishes. If you enjoyed that video, consider giving it a like and giving me a follow. And for more of my videos, you can find me on Twitch at Moglaroo, YouTube at Moglaroo Streams, and TikTok at Moglaroo Streams as well. <laughs>